Unfortunately, this did come broken and I'm currently having an allergic reaction right now. Um, so. Today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. The President's Day sale is still running right now and you can get 25% off your purchase plus a free bedroom bundle for a limited time. Hello everybody and welcome back to After Advent Season. We're, we're still going folks, we're still going. There's still some advent calendars back there. We will get them with them eventually. <laughs> Part of me just wants to see if I can continue to find advent calendars throughout the year and have like a weekly advent calendar unboxing. <laughs> is that too much though? Is that like too, is that too insane? <laughs> it probably is. But today we're gonna be doing the Wet n Wild Beauty advent calendar. I used to love Wet n Wild Beauty. Like, the, didn't they have lipsticks for a dollar or am I just making that up? I feel like I had a vast collection of Wet n Wild Beauty like lipsticks and things because they're so inexpensive at, you know, like the drugstore. But now everything in the entire just universe costs well more than it used to just a few years ago. So I'm, I'm assuming they no longer have $1 lipsticks, but I feel like that's a memory that I had. But this is their Wild List 12 day advent calendar. It was $29.99, it is now on sale for $20.99, so it's still available. Just spent the entire calendar. There are 12 items inside of here on the website. It says that it ranges from like favorite makeup products to high quality tools. So I'm assuming we're gonna see a, a range of makeup items in here, plus some like brushes and stuff. But I started off with their face today so we can try on some stuff at the end. Not the heaviest advent calendar in the world and also like not the most structurally sound. You can tell by how easy it was to almost just bend it in half. But it also wasn't terribly expensive. They didn't give us a value or anything for it. So maybe we'll do some calculations at the end, but uh, let's go ahead and get started here with day number one. Ooh, mascara. That is in there real tight. Okay. I don't even know where my spoon is. Oh, spoon. What is that? This is an incredibly lightweight tube of mascara. Like the plastic itself feels very lightweight and like doesn't feel like there's really much product in here. This is the Mega Volume Mascara, which I personally really love a volume mascara, so that's nice. I like the color of the tube too. It's a really pretty kind of like lilac-y purple. That doesn't smell like typical mascara. It's very like alcohol-y scent to it. <laughs> that's why it feels so lightweight. There's there's not a lot of product in here. There's not, not a lot of product at all in there. I don't think I've ever actually been able to like see the inside of a mascara tube before, but I can see the light coming through the plastic and there's, there's, there's very little product in this. This is in the shade Very Black. Black and it does look like it has a nice kind of fluffyish wand to it. So uh, yeah, I'm interested in trying this out. Just such an interesting smell. Okay, moving along here to day number two. Pretty big door. Oh, pretty little palette. Oh, that's fun. Oh, it's purpley. It is, it's, it's purpley. That's, yeah. So we have a five pan palette here and I think its name is Petalet. I guess like Petal palette, petal, pet, petal it. And it is fairly purple. We have a lot of different shades of purples here, a deeper plum, a lighter purpley pink, and then just some other little like lilac-y shades and some other shades in there. I mean, very pretty looking. It does look pretty. I just happen to, to not love purple eyeshadow. It's not my favorite thing, but I guess today it is, it, it is my thing. It's my thing that I'm gonna put on my face. Oh, very hard to open. The peel here thing might <laughs> might provide some assistance or not. This is one of their color icon palettes and uh, they feel pretty smooth on the fingers actually. Purples can be super patchy, so I'm interested in seeing how these swatch. Thumb there. Oh, okay, you know what? So not terribly, honestly, super purple once you swatch them. This uh, shade here at the end is probably the most like plummy purple out of the rest of them, but a lot of them are honestly just kind of light shimmers. And this center shade here, it looks a lot more like peachy pink when it's actually swatched. So a pretty palette, maybe not overly pigmented, like overly impressive in the swatch, but uh, not terrible. Moving along today at number three here at the bottom. It's real long. I don't know, maybe it's a brush or something, just like a, an extra long one. Oh, this kind of takes me back. Ah. I absolutely had these little white brushes with the pink bristles in my makeup collection for years. I have no idea what happened to them over the years. It definitely takes me back seeing these little brushes. I do also feel like these were fairly inexpensive back in the day, like potentially perhaps even like a dollar for a little brush like this. But it, it feels fine. It feels pretty decent. Not the softest brush ever for sure. It's a little jaggedy. There's a lot of little uh, hairs out of place. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not. But I do really like the look of it. I like the white handle. I like the pink bristles. So I think it's cute. Day number four here is in kind of a narrower, don't know what happened there. Day number four is in this door right here. Oh my gosh, just the most intensely tight plastic. What the heck? Ooh, a very, very clear gloss. Honestly, at first glance, 
thought it was empty. This looks so clear. There's no little glitters in it. There's no sparkle, iridescence, anything. Just a purely clear gloss. This is the Mega Slicks Lip Gloss uh, in the shade, I'm assuming nothing. Crystal clear, makes that make sense. I think it's fascinating how they can get no bubbles inside of these tubes and then you, you go and mess it up yourself. But it, the, the, the no bubble part's real interesting. Ooh, it smells like vanilla. Very standard, just a little doe foot applicator. And uh, we'll see, we'll see how it applies on the lips. It doesn't taste very good. <laughs> it does not taste great. But you know, it feels like a very standard lip gloss. Not too sticky, but a little bit on the sticky side. Not too oily, anything like that, but it doesn't taste very good. You know, I'm sure that's not like the first priority when you're formulating a lip gloss. Like, hey, we need this to taste good because of people eating it. However, if I had a makeup line, I feel like it would need to be edible. Like ride that line between what is candy and what is makeup. All right, day number five over here is in a fairly large door. Let's go ahead and see what this is. Oh, another makeup brush. Oh, <laughs> well, it's, it's falling apart a little bit already. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, it's like me in the shower. Uh, there's a good amount of hair fallout there <laughs> is what I'm meaning. So we have another of the little like white handled pink brush tipped brushes. Um, I think it is a very cute brush. I'm just wondering already about the quality a little bit. It feels pretty soft. It feels pretty nice, but there is a good amount of shedding and like uneven bristles. It also feels fairly lightweight, you know, very like clinky plastic, but you know, it's it's a very cute brush. I think these are very cute. And I'm always looking for another powder brush because I use one powder brush to do like everything on my face. I'm talking setting powder, bronzing, blush, highlight. I'll use it like for eyeshadow above my eyes, one brush. So hopefully this this little guy here will stand up to all of that and it won't be like me. Oh, oh. Alrighty, day number six is at the top here. Sorry if I have a lot of like nervous energy going on, you guys. Um, It's been several days since I filmed. We've had a whole lot going on just between like me and Tater and just a whole lot of stuff going on. So anytime it's been a few days since I filmed, <laughs> I get really nervous. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, which I standardly don't, but it feels just worse. All right, day number six is up next. Next? Oh, goody! Goody! <laughs> what would an advent calendar be if there wasn't just a little eye torturing device in it? It's never personally my favorite thing to get an eyelash curler in an advent calendar for a few reasons. One, they always feel so flimsy and so inexpensive. Like, I'm sure this is something that was purchased majorly bulk wholesale for very, very little, and then they just had it branded with Wet n Wild. They never feel like really fantastic quality, which always makes me even more nervous to put them near my eyeballs. So the second reason I, I'm not a huge fan of getting these in advent calendars is because I'm afraid to use them and I standardly don't. I think they're scary. I think they're spooky. I've seen the people, you know, like have them curl in their eyelashes and then they like sneeze and go on. Just all their eyelashes are gone. They're in between this little part here now. And that that just feels like something that could happen to me. I do like that it's a little bit of a different color though, because typically we just get like standard silver ones, but this one's like... It's almost like it's trying to be rose gold, but like a very muted rose gold. They're usually all always silver because I, you'll probably most of these companies that are putting them in their calendars or their, you know, subscription boxes or whatever, they're all getting them from the same wholesale manufacturing facility that's charging them mere pennies for their little eye squeezing devices. Anywho, that's my rant about eyelash curlers. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to the next day. Before I move on, I would love to tell you guys what today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Sleeping is one of the things that me and Rin and Tater enjoy most and Helix makes it even more enjoyable with their premium mattresses. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. I've had my Helix mattress for over two years now and it has improved my sleep so much. I used to wake up really stiff and sore but since switching to Helix I don't have that problem anymore. As you guys know I've been partnering with Helix for quite some time now and it's so awesome to see your all's comments saying that you guys have tried Helix as well and you've been loving your mattress. One thing I love about Helix is that unlike other mattress brands Helix mattresses contain no fiberglass. Fiberglass can be harmful to your health and Helix owns their own manufacturing facility, which is completely free from products containing fiberglass. Helix knows that everyone is different, and to ensure that you get the best mattress for you, they made a sleep quiz to match your body type and sleep references the perfect mattress. I personally am a side sleeper who likes a super soft cloud-like mattress, and I share my mattress, so the sleep quiz matched me with the Helix Sunset Lux, and I think it is the perfect choice. I'm sleeping so comfortably on our Helix mattress. It's so soft, but also so supportive in all the right places. With your Helix mattress, you get a 100-night sleep trial, and you also get a 10-year warranty, and their financing options and flexible payment plans. And the best part about all of this is that Helix was a 
deliver your mattress to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. Can you guys hear that? As I'm unwrapping the plastic, it's starting to puff up with air. I personally really enjoy my Helix mattress and if you think you would too, it is the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with their President's Day sale where you can get 25% off your Helix mattress plus a free bedroom bundle. So click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash Alexandria to find out more about this limited time offer. And just thank you so much to Helix for sponsoring this video and your continued support of the channel. Day number seven, let's see what it has in store for us. Is that? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, of course it is. Uh, when I first saw this in there, I was like, is that just another perfectly clear lip gloss? No, it is a perfectly clear, say it with me folks. I, you probably said it better than I did. I, what is this called? <laughs> eyebrow, eyebrow gel. Perfectly clear eyebrow gel. Brow and lash mascara. Now listen, if you're blessed enough to not have to have color in your mascara, Good for you. Good for you. That also smells very alcoholic. If you're somebody who can get away with just some clear mascara on your eyelashes, or maybe, I guess, you know, some people might not like the look of mascara on their lashes, but they still want them to be like lifted and hold curl and like kind of, you know, stay put without there actually being like a, a colorful mascara on them, then I guess this could work for that too. I just know I personally, like if I have to put on one makeup product before I leave the house, it's mascara. It's mascara every time. I have on several occasions from people that I know when I'm not wearing mascara come up to me and be like, hey, are you feeling okay? You're looking, you're looking a little extra sleepy. You're looking a little peaked. And I'm just like, well, yeah, you know, I usually am tired 100% of the there's noises happening outside my hallway and no one else is home besides me and the boys are sleeping right there. So that's, that's always fun. And I have to say to them, no, you know, well, I usually am tired like 100% of the time, but what's happening right now is I'm not wearing mascara. Thank you for confirming my fear that I look ill without it. Anywho, day number eight is up next here. Listen, I know that I almost snapped this in half just trying to get the plastic off, but I promise I didn't do this. Yeah, we've been jabbing in with the spoon just a little bit, but... And I can't promise that I didn't break it a little bit more, but it still looks like pretty much what it did when I opened up the flap. So next thing you have here is a very pretty looking blush, but unfortunately it did come smashed. Now, like I mentioned, uh, this packaging is not fantastic packaging and I can't remember what like the outer packaging of it looked like, but I feel like I would have noticed if like the outer shipping box or anything came really damaged. So I'm just assuming this was probably done you know, sometime in like the warehouse or the factory or something. Because this is like not really super, super secure packaging, besides that plastic, it holds it in there with like the, the death grip. I guess I'll go ahead and let me just get my dental tools out here to peel away this a little sticker. I'll go ahead and open it so we can get a swatch, but I feel like this is just a disaster waiting to happen. How do you open this? I don't know why stickers and I are just like worst, the worst of enemies. Why will you not open? Okay, Ooh, that was surely much more difficult than it needed to be. I feel like it was kind of like stuck closed almost, like it would have been like crunched at one point, um, but here's the blush. It is very busted up. There's still half of it that's pretty good though. Ooh, it's really soft on my finger. That is a very light kind of petally pink blush. Y'all, I'm sweating. It's hot. <laughs> it's not hot outside. It's not hot in this house, but I am <laughs> sweating. I'm telling you guys, it's that nervous energy from not filming for a while. I get so nervous. <laughs> it's just us. It's just me talking to you guys. All right, moving next door here to day number nine. Oh, what's that? Okay, we have something in a little bottle here. I tell you, this plastic. <laughs> oh, that's very interesting. But there's all sorts of stuff going on on there. So this is a five-in-one primer essence liquid. I've, 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 I'm not quite sure if I've ever seen anything like this where it's an essence and a primer liquid. That's very different to me. It's supposed to smooth, condition, refine pores, balance, and prolong makeup wear. So that's really different. Uh, you shake it well, apply it evenly to face, and allow one minute to set before applying makeup. So I don't typically use primers, but I'll try this out today just because it's so different. It is a sample, not for resale. So this definitely is not a full size. They've even like blacked out the barcode there. So you can't, you know, try to return it or something. Ew, rose water. Lovely. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> let's get a bit of sniff real fast. Oh, that barely has a scent. Okay, that, that's not too bad then. Uh, it won't smell disgusting when I put it on my skin, so that's nice. Oh, I forgot to mention that everything from Wet n Wild is cruelty-free, so that's really nice that you can find a like less expensive, you know, more affordable option that's cruelty-free at the drugstore, so that's really nice. Moving on here to day number 10. I'm just gonna pull back this whole section here. <laughs> it's a little bit easier. 
Oh, that looks like a pretty color. What is this? For some reason at first I thought this was a lip liner and I was like, oh, that's kind of different for a lip liner and advent calendar, like a real intense brown. But no, it is a gel eyeliner. However, it's not black, so that's a little bit different. I now typically just standardly wear brown eyeliners. This could actually be pretty good. Okay, yeah. Not like the most creamy smooth thing ever, but the pigmentation isn't terrible. There's definitely some warmth to it, which I kind of like. And uh, yeah, it seems like a pretty decent brown eyeliner. All right, just two days left here in the advent calendar. We have day number 11 up next. Okie dokie, this is definitely different for me for Wet n Wild. Uh, the next thing we have here, it looks like a translucent setting powder, but there's some interesting stuff going on with it. This... <laughs> Less interesting now. It's bare focus. I thought it said barefoot. What a strange thing to call a face powder, but no, bare focus. Clarifying finishing powder with vegan collagen, tea tree oil, and vitamin E. So <laughs> no feet involved, thank goodness. That's interesting that it's a clarifying finishing powder. I don't really know what they they mean by that. Uh, nothing in here goes into like any further detail on that, but also like vegan collagen in a finishing powder. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. <laughs> I truly and honestly don't. I'm fairly certain applying collagen like directly to the skin doesn't really do much of anything either. But definitely probably over top of like all of your other like foundations and serums and lotions and makeup and stuff. Uh, I, I doubt collagen in a finishing powder really does much. Just a very white looking powder, but it's supposed to be translucent, pretty soft on the skin. Oh yeah, I mean, that feels nice. Feels very powdery and smooth. I honestly could use a new finishing powder because I've been and, like beaten the daylights out of a tiny Laura Mercier one that I got from one of these advent calendars and I have to like smack it into the table and like beat it against my brush and everything just to get a little bit of powder out. It'd be really nice. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, you guys, that brings us to the very last day of this advent calendar, day number 12, which I personally think should be the biggest, bestest, and most good goodest day of the advent calendar, of any advent calendar. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we have for day number 12. We have a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I don't know what shade this one is in just yet, but it looks really pretty. Oh, Blossom Glow is the name of the shade. I've definitely used these highlighters before, and I think I remember liking them, so uh, I'm excited to see what the shade looks like. Also, it's a very nice size. I like this pan size. What I don't like, however, are stickers, and there's so many of them on all these, like, little compact products. This looks like it's gonna be, like, a super light kind of pale pink shade. I'm hoping it doesn't look too frosty. I'm not a huge fan of very frosty highlights. Ooh, that does look a little bit powdery. It is a super light shade and I could see how it would look a little like powdery dusty, but once my finger like started working it into the skin and I guess maybe like mixing with the oils in my skin, it does have like a nice kind of glow to it. It's not too overly like sparkly or glittery. Like it's not a super sheer base, basically just sparkles in it. Um, there is a decent amount of like glow to it. So it seems kind of nice. All right, you guys, that was everything for the Wet n Wild Advent Calendar. I'm trying to figure out like, is this an expensive, affordable, a good deal, or is it just cheap? Because there's a difference between something being like cheaply made and not very good and something being like, you know, affordable and good and inexpensive and a good deal. So when I try all this stuff out, I'm also going to do some math and calculations and see how much like value we're actually getting. Because Wet n Wild is such an inexpensive brand, I'm wondering at like that $30 price point if the value isn't like crazy high, but I'd just be really interested in seeing what it actually is. So I'm going to go ahead and try on the primer first and then I'll do my base off camera because I don't have any base products and then I'll come back and try out some stuff. All right, so for this they said to shake it up and then apply evenly to face. I don't know if I'm supposed to just maybe use my fingers or like a beauty blender or something. I don't know. It is very liquidy. I'm Macaulay Culkin and I'm home alone. This feels kind of nice though. It feels really smooth. All right, so that is applied evenly over my skin. At least I think, you know, as good as I can do with my fingers. And then I'm going to let this dry, do my base, and then I'll be back to try out some of these other items. Okay, guys, so I'm getting the base of my face on, but unfortunately it is starting to burn quite a bit. I got, we're, we're tingling pretty good. The only thing I've done different than I typically do every single day is the, the essence primer. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. I'm also noticing that my, my foundation isn't going on how I usually like it to go on. It's just this like tinted hydrator stuff with uh, a little bit of concealer. It's acting kind of strange on top of that priming essence. I'm gonna see how much I can get onto my face before I feel like I need to go wash it off. <laughs> 
because it burns. Oh yeah, it burns pretty good. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna sit a little bit with this finishing powder here just to see how it kind of reacts over top of my foundation. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, you can definitely already see a little bit of the shininess going away, but it is looking a little white. Like it's leaving kind of a white cast on my face. So I'm wondering how this would be with like flashback and stuff. I never take pictures like ever, especially with pictures with flash on them. So that's not something I have to really, really worry about. But if you're somebody who does take a lot of pictures, I just wonder how this would work out with flash. Oh, that's not good. It, not a lot of flashback, but just a very terrifying picture. <laughs> that's real bad. The flashback doesn't look too terrible though, but my, oh, that's rough. Spicy. <laughs> my face is spicy. Okay, I'm gonna slap on a little bit of this mascara just to see how it works out. Hey, that's not too shabby. I don't mind that. This mascara is $3.79 and I'm, I'm kind of not minding it. I look like a specter, um, but I think the mascara is going on quite well. I'm trying to go as fast as possible because my face is very much so burning. <laughs> this broken blush just does, it does not want to open. It doesn't like it. It doesn't enjoy opening. A spoon. I don't have any bronzer, any contour, anything on to like give my face some definition. So this looks wild. Hey, wet and wild. This blush honestly isn't too bad either. I thought it would look extra dusty, but no, it's just my skin that's looking dusty. I'll just do a little in the corner there. Oh yeah, it's just a little bit of wing. I'm so sorry, you guys. My face is just really burning. You're definitely supposed to do this stuff before you put on the mascara, but that's okay. Here's a little bit of eyeshadow. A little bit of highlight with the same brush I used for blush. Everything is so out of order. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna slap on just a little bit of bronzer so we can kind of see what this looks like with me having, you know, some dimension to my face. I got to use the actual eye brush that came with it. Let's add a little bit of like a deepening kind of purple shadow here in the outer corner. A little bit more gloss. <gasps> my god, I can see my face breaking out. It's breaking out right now. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. This was a mess of the end of the video, but uh, here is everything on my face. I feel like I'm not having a fantastic reaction here to this essence. I, I don't know what's going on. I finally, like, healed my face. All little bumps were gone. I put this on. All of a sudden, bumps are coming back around my chin and stuff. Um, but here's everything. I think, honestly, the mascara was the standout $3.79. I'm very particular about mascaras, and so far, I'm liking this one. I really am. All together, I did the math and this advent calendar comes to a grand total value of $44.59, so almost $45. 15 bucks an extra value if you did pay $30 for it and then you get 20. 25? No, I can't do math. What is that? Yeah, almost $25 in extra value if you buy it while it's $20.99. Uh, so overall, I don't think it's terrible. I really don't. The value and stuff, it'd be a nice little gift, maybe especially for like somebody who's a bit younger, a teen, something like that. Unfortunately, this did come broken and I'm currently having an allergic reaction right now. Um, So, you know, maybe not the worst advent calendar ever, but definitely not a fantastic video. So very sorry about that. Uh, I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. We have a couple more advent calendars coming your way and uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It means helps the world to me and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>